Hey girls. You coming? No, can I pick up that piece of wire? Can you move? Please, can you move? Thank you. Oh! The swallow is flying over where the sheep are disturbing the tall grass because it's getting all the food. I don't know if you can see that. Hey, girls! Where's your daughter? I'm gonna leave this open. Look at the swallows, all flying over the sheep because they're disturbing the moths and insects as they walk through the grass. That's so cool, I love seeing that. That is a great sign that there is a lot of biodiversity in the field supporting the bird life. Oh, I'm going to have to go find your daughter. I don't know where your daughter is. The alpaca are happily galloping in here. The daughter is probably asleep somewhere, poor girl. It's going to wake out up and her mother and her grandmother are away somewhere. So I wanted to just show you, this is the remnants of a dock. And everybody always says, sheep will only eat dock when it's young. This is a mature dock and its leaves were eaten off. This was cow parsley and its leaves were eaten off. But this, when dock is fertilized with artificial fertilizer, it's a much bitter taste and flavor to livestock. But when you don't have fertilizer, the um, taste of it and flavor is much nicer and more palatable to ruminants. And that's a very important thing. Everybody talking about too many docks. So you go through here and here's another cow parsley that's been stripped of all of its leaves. But you can see there's a lot of seed heads left still of different grasses. I took the sheep out to give it a chance to resuscitate the land, give it a break. There's still a lot of insects in here. It's looking really good. There is not very much buttercup, which is an excellent thing. And the sheep are all over there having a lovely time where the lambs were about 10 days ago. Or no, last week. So I'm going to move them out of the, so I've moved them out of this field. Oh, there's the baby. Hey, sweetie. Were you snoozing? Were you snoozing? Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Ink Maya. Hey, Ebony. What are you doing coming back? I thought you were in the other field having a lovely time. 
Oh, look. Mother's come back waiting for her daughter. She's like, where did you go? Why did you leave me? Here's more dock. Lots of dock in this vicinity. Look, she's even eating thistles. She was just eating a thistle. Look, there. Busting another myth, aren't you, Ebony? Eating a thistle. So you can see all these docks. These are all docks here. They've all been stripped. Only one has matured enough for a seed head is this one. All these docks have been um, eaten by the sheep. Let's see. Will you like this seed, seed head? Hey, Ebony, are you interested in this? There you go. The seed head being eaten. There's a little bit more. Here, you want that a bit? You want that? No, okay. You've had one bite. One mouthful was enough. But there she is eating thistles and tall grasses. And there's more dock that has been stripped by the sheep. Mature dock, not baby tender docks. Because the fields have not had artificial fertilizer in years and years. And so the bitterness has gone out of the artificial, uh, sorry, the bitterness is no longer in the um, dock. That group of trees is looking well around the wooden fence. On the other side of the wooden fence. They're alders. I think there's about 10 in there, I think, or 12, I can't remember. We planted them in the spring. Curious pup. 